Hey folks, welcome back to Folity. Today we're diving into Emilia Perez, a movie that's basically what happens when a bunch of film genres crash into each other at full speed and no one bothers to clean up the mess. Picture this, a fireworks display, a three-ring circus, and a mariachi band playing while a line of high-kicking chorus girls prance around. Oh, and if this movie wasn't set in Mexico, I'm sure they'd have thrown in penguins sliding down a hill just for kicks. So what's going on in this wild ride of a film? We kick things off with criminal attorney Rita Moro Castro, played by none other than Zoe Saldana. She's dealing with a drug cartel kingpin named Manitas Del Monte. Now, Manitas looks like Fidel Castro on a really bad day, like after a cigar blew up in his face. And he's got a request that's definitely not your usual cartel kingpin ask. He wants to transition from male to female. But hold on, this isn't your typical trip to the clinic. This operation has to be a super top secret mission. And once it's done, Manitas is going to fake his own death. Because why not add a little drama to your gender transition? So, after a transition process that's probably about as easy as booking a facial for Pablo Escobar, times 10, Manitas comes back as Emilia Perez. And let me tell you, Emilia is the wealthy earth mother you never knew you needed. She's played by Carla Sofia Gascon, who absolutely kills it as both Manitas and Emilia under layers of makeup. Gascon brings this perfect mix of humor, heft, and just enough melodrama to keep things spicy. But wait, Emilia's not ready to ride off into the sunset just yet. Nope, she's got another demand on her list. She wants to reunite with Jessie, her now ex-wife, played by Selena Gomez. And guess what? Jessie is not impressed. She's got this whole pampered, petulant vibe going on like she just found out her designer handbag was actually a fake. It's a perfect touch of comedy. Jessie's living with Amelia, who's pretending to be her aunt, and let's just say it's awkward. Picture living with a ticking time bomb disguised as a rich, grumpy housewife. Meanwhile, Amelia decides to become a public figure, parading around as this justice-seeking philanthropist trying to recover the remains of the victims uh, I mean, the disparus, that her former self, Manitas, probably, read definitely, had a hand in making disappear. The film doesn't even bother to tell us if Amelia is a reformed angel or Mexico's biggest hypocrite, but who cares? This movie is more interested in its flamboyant chaos than answering any real questions. And just when you think you've seen it all, Selena Gomez steps in to light up the grand finale. Honestly, she might be the one thing holding this whole circus together. But let's talk about one glaring issue here. It's a musical, right? So where are the big musical numbers? The songs are short and sweet. Well, short, at least. It's like if West Side Story was done in a low hum. Don't get me wrong, the chaos is fun, but if you're going to call it a musical, at least give us some memorable tunes. Anyway, if you're in the mood for a film that's part musical, part crime drama, part comedy, and all kinds of strange, Emilia Perez is now streaming on Netflix. Go watch it, if you dare. That's all for today's review on Folity. Let me know in the comments what you think about this wild mess of a movie. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because you know you want to hear more of this.